some of you guys may know uh, of Chud Logic. Uh, I used to consider myself quite good friends with Chud Logic, um, and uh, I, in fact, did a video uh, a, a bit ago uh, about my relationship with Chud Logic uh, and how we sort of started splitting and going our own ways. Uh, when I first came to this space, Chud Logic was very supportive of me, and uh, I spent a lot of time actually as my as my uh, as my channel. Uh, grew. Uh, uh, I spent more time hanging out with Chud Logic. We became friends. We talked about all kinds of stuff. We would shoot the shit. We'd play a lot of games together. We would talk about drama, etc., etc., etc. And as time went on, uh, his content took a very different philosophy, a very different turn. He used to describe himself as a Marxist. Uh, he used to describe himself as a, uh, a, a, a communist, in fact, uh, at, at various points. Um, and as we can tell, that is certainly, as most people will know, that is certainly no longer the case. He doesn't really stand by either of those identities, despite that being what he kind of built his stream on initially. Um, we, we split uh, and started going separate ways because uh, he was very, very avidly uh, partnering with a, a content creator named Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl, of course, being the content creator who wrote the song, and I'm going to quote the title of the song, I Am a Pedophile. That is Mr. Girl who wrote that uh, song. And also Mr. Girl who goes around the internet doing uh, defense uh, a rhetorical defense for pedophiles, which I think is disgusting. Now, uh, I have talked to Mr. Girl exactly once, uh, uh, and other than that, I have had zero interest or desire, and I have actively refused to participate in any other thing uh, besides the one thing that I, uh, I had a conversation with Mr. Girl as a part of a charity stream, and the only reason I even did that was because uh, his fans paid a lot of money to the charity, directly to the charity, in order to make that conversation happen, and we talked about gender. So, um, Chud Logic and I started going our own separate ways over Mr. Girl, basically. And uh, he had a different approach to the way that he wanted to do content, and uh, sometime around that point, he hired an editor. Um, an editor by the name of DK, AKA Drift King Edits. Now, I've done a video on DK already. Uh, I did a video reacting to a conflict between DK, Chud Logic, and another content creator that many of us are familiar with by the name of President Sunday. Uh, I've talked about DK in the past. Uh, I do not think highly of DK. In fact, I think about as lowly of DK as is humanly possible. I think DK is a terrible and dangerous person in the sense that he is uh, incredibly emotionally immature, unstable, and has been given a certain uh, slice of power over Chud Logic's community. Now, he's not dangerous to me or to any of you because you're not a part of Chud Logic's community. But what many people don't know about DK, AKA Drift King's edits, um, uh, or Drift King's edit, edits, yeah, uh, is, is that he actually threatened to, uh, to leak personal and private information to uh, what, he implied were doxing forums. Uh, that he actually not just threatened in the entirety of Chud Logic's mod team at the time, um, uh, who have mostly resigned, uh, but also uh, the entire membership of the Chud Logic Discord. Uh, we covered this in my previous video where I said that, that this is like an actually dangerous thing that should be taken seriously. Uh, needless to say, Chud Logic uh, has continued to employ Drift King edits, uh, and Drift King edits has continued to be an unstable and immature and uh, strange individual. Now, recently, Drift King's edits uh, uh, decided to take shots at uh, a, 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 a online figure that many of us know and love by the name of White Nervosa. For those who don't know, White Nervosa is a programmer uh, who uh, helped create the site format that I, that me, Xander Hall, Keffels, uh, Shoe on Head, Vosh, and many other people use. It's called White Forest. Uh, White Forest is a co-op that has created a, a, uh, a, a fork 
of a of a s small open source project that has grown into a much larger project and the features that you enjoy on the website the chat the emotes the the easy donations all of that sort of stuff being able to change your pronouns all of that was created by white nervosa now uh uh yeah, the surfs, just a lot of people. White Nervosa has has helped uh, create the websites of a lot of people, the, the, the tools that make the website possible. I don't want to get too much into technicals. Now, uh, Drift King's uh, edits, DK, who works for Chud Logic, and, and let's just be clear, Chud Logic is aware of the way that his, uh, his editor behaves, his editor and Discord admin behaves, uh, and doesn't seem to really concerned by it. In fact, he seems to be doubling down right alongside of DK. Um, but DK went after uh, White Nervosa the other day, and let me just grab let me just grab these these screenshots for you real quick, so you can see the type of stuff that was being uh, that was being said uh, to White Nervosa by uh, DK. Hold on, I've got all of them right here. I'm gonna just bring these up real quick. Um, let me just grab this real quick. <clears throat> I'm gonna get them all up in advance so we can just go through them one by one and take a look at it real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, here's the document. Okay, all right, here we go. This is all of the, all of the stuff. All right, so we're gonna go through these sort of one by one, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, here we go. So here's the first, here's the first one. I believe, I believe this was the inciting incident. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. So, uh, uh, Drift King's editing says, I'm not really sure what's going on, but Andrew Callahan definitely didn't rape that young lady. And then Drift King's wrote it again and said, I'm not really sure what's going on, but Andrew Callahan definitely, uh, raped that young lady. So he's making two, he's making two jokes about the, uh, the, the the Andrew Callahan situation, okay? And White Nervosa responds, I'm out of my mind and added Chud logic, irrational Chad, but is there any reason you're paying a person who felt the need to tweet this twice? Are you too lazy to find another editor or are they doing it for scraps off the plate so that it's worth it? Is there no connection you feel whatsoever? So what White Nervosa was saying is why the fuck are you employing a guy who's making jokes about like, like as your editor is just making jokes about the, uh, an ongoing, uh, uh, uh situation of like where, where there are, are active, credible allegations of rape. And this guy's making a joke of it. Uh, personally, I, I don't think White Nervosa is out of line by asking that. I think that that's a reasonable thing for people to be concerned about, given that, well, just keep in mind, we just did, all of you who are here now and who are who are in the live stream, some of you who are watching this later uh, maybe won't have been, but we just did an entire segment going through all of the evidence. And let's just say the case is very, very, very strong against Andrew Callahan. And Andrew Callahan, it wasn't just one person. So I can understand why people would be frustrated with that sort of, uh, that sort of comment coming from an editor, okay? Let's continue real quick, okay? And uh, 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 White Nervosa has, made, has, has me blocked. So although they are acting as though they are talking to me, they are actually virtue signaling to their followers. It's very simple. I will never kowtow to the gay, retarded sensibilities of leftoids. Now, let me remind you once again that uh, less, I, I, I would say about a year ago, uh, uh, Chud Logic was online being one of the leftoids that he is so angry about here. Uh, he's not too far from his history of being a literal Marxist. Uh, but as you can see, uh, as far as behavior is concerned, Chud Logic is, is totally trying to go to the opposite direction, okay? We're gonna continue and I'm gonna show you another one that here that has been that has been shown in this conflict. I wanna be able to outline the conflict for you so you understand where this goes, okay? So White Nervosa then tags Twitch and Twitch support and says, uh, Twitch support has explicitly told me that it is okay that the partnered channel, or, uh, Chud Logic, has called me another Twitch partner, a gay retard. Take that as you will and do as you wish off platform as long as it's not an imminent threat. So 
Uh, as we all know, uh, it is actually very much against the Twitch TOS to use, uh, to target a, a another uh, a, a Twitch partner, or, or anyone for that matter, but especially a, a, a literal coworker, as far as coworkers can be concerned, with this type of language. Um, so apparently Twitch did not take that seriously, and White Nervosa simply wanted to talk about that. And while I can understand uh, people being frustrated or thinking that this is a, a uh, you know, a, a across the line or whatever, uh, I, I have to say, I mean, White Nervosa just said that Twitch didn't respond or that Twitch did not respond or ban anybody. No one has been banned here. White Nervosa is simply making the case that if you are going to make jokes about rape and then you are going to call a fellow partner, a Twitch partner, a re gay retarded leftoid, uh, you might be in violation of the TOS that Twitch uh, has put out. And people have gotten in trouble for much less. As you all know, I was falsely reported and also cleared of those uh, of that of a false ban uh, as a result of people falsely reporting me for calling myself the F slur. And of course, it continues. So let's continue with this. White Nervosa is a disgusting freak who has demonstrated with the rose wrist situation that they are willing to abuse whatever pathetic measure of power they have access to. Now they are making a concerted effort to deplatform me from Twitch because I was mean to them on Twitter. And then Carissa Avalone says, did you call them a gay, a, a gay retard? And of course the answer is, well, yes, he did. So maybe, Maybe if you didn't want to get in trouble with the TOS of the website that you make your money on, you should not do things that are out of the TOS of the website that you make your money on. So it seems kind of obvious to me by and large. Um, so, you know, there's this right here. Now, uh, personally, I think that describing White Nervosa as a disgusting freak is a, is 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 really a, across the line. I think that's a, a unfair. Uh, I don't think that anything here is disgusting freak behavior. I think White Nervosa is frustrated with the continual issues with your editor. Now, of course, uh, Chud Logic here makes some references to a situation with Rose Wrist. Let me just explain the Rose Wrist situation for those who were not here for that. Rose Wrist was a very small uh, uh, content creator uh, uh, who, at one point, uh, operated a White Forest website. Now. Many people don't know anything about the internal operations of White Forest, and I wouldn't expect you to, but White Forest is a co-op that uh, does not charge people for hosting. It, like, White Forest selects streamers that they believe in and does not charge them for hosting the websites. Now, that can actually become quite a large expense, um, and uh, and as a result, White Forest has a rule that if your uh, if your website is not active for an extended period of time, uh, your website will basically stop being hosted until you are active again. Now, as it turns out, Rose Wrist uh, was long overdue past that that dead zone. The website was still being hosted, but Rose Wrist had not streamed to his website in some time, in, 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 in well over the the pre stated amount of time. In addition, Rose Wrist, this content creator, was boasting on tw on social media about having contributed to a harassment manifesto, and that is what it was. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There was a manifesto that was written about Keffels, myself, and my partner Doe, who doesn't even stream at the moment, uh, a manifesto designed to spread extremely obvious low-level disinformation and drive harassment at us that made absurd claims about our behavior uh, and definitively lied about us. And Rose Wrist was boasting about having contributed significantly to this document. Document. Now, something you'll notice uh, that I just said there is that um, Hippie Punk says, wait, so Rose Wrist wasn't paying a dime? Nope, Rose Wrist wasn't paying a dime. Um, now, uh, uh, real quick, um, I, I just want to point out, uh, myself, Doe, and Keffels are all three members, of, are, we're, we're all three hosted by White Forest. And it's kind of odd for another member of White Forest to be 
uh, participating in the creation of a harassment manifesto, and yes, it was called a manifesto, a harassment manifesto about three other White Forest websites. So, uh, so White Nervosa uh, uh, cut Rose Wrist's website, said no more. Now, Rose Wrist owns his website, he just doesn't host it. So he didn't lose his website. He didn't lose his domain name. Uh, the website just stopped being hosted. And as a, uh, we'll call it a prank, okay? I'm gonna be charitable here and we're gonna call it a prank uh, because I think that's a fair thing to call it. Uh, 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 White Nervosa had for, I believe about 24 hours or so, Rose Wrist's domain uh, uh, or his 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 hosting redirected to Keffels. This was a little bit of a fuck you uh, from White Nervosa to Rose Wrist for Rose Wrist participating in that harassment manifesto. Now, is that unprofessional? Yeah, it's a little unprofessional. Is it a crime? No. Is it a severely unprofessional act? No, it isn't. Uh, again, Rose Wrist maintains full control over all of his IP. He remains full control over his domains. He could have actually stopped that redirect from happening immediately by simply going to his uh, domain, his his domain name service, and just changing the, the just changing where it was pointing to. But he didn't. So uh, for a day or two. Uh, 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 as far as I know, that's, a, I don't know that, I don't believe it go, went on much longer than that. There was a, a joke redirect from Rose Wrist's uh, site, so from Rose Wrist's website to Keffels' front page, which on, on, a, again, Rose Wrist had not used his website in an extended period of time. So nobody was going to this website. Nobody except for a handful of people who, who got the joke even saw the redirect in the first place. But just keep in mind, this is how it is described by Chud Logic. The Rose Wrist situation that they are willing to abuse whatever pathetic measure of power they have access to. For all of his crying and whining here, uh, this is an example of at worst a prank. A, 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 a little bit of a fuck you to somebody who screwed you and your friends over while taking advantage of your service that they were receiving for free. So I want you to understand that this entire time as Chud Logic and DK Edits are trying to pretend that they're like, they're the based, take no prisoners, we don't, we don't, we don't cave to the lefties, we're so cool and based, they're actually just whining about nothing. They're crying about literally nothing, okay? Let's keep going. Let's keep going in this situation. I want to make sure we get through everything, okay? So here we go. Here's the next tweet in line, okay? So then we have, you know, uh, Irrational Chad, AKA Chud Logic, literally don't care, you are a gay retard to somebody else. Um, it's a bit questionable employing someone who admits, uh, yeah, so this is just nonsense here. This is just random him, him doubling down on this, calling people these sorts of things, okay? Um, but I wanna look at this one. This is where it gets really serious, okay? Okay, so remember, it's Chud Logic is claiming that everybody else is a snowflake except for him. But I want you to take a look at this next thing from his editor, and and I want you I want you to I want you to understand uh, what's going on because there is a there is a lot that we're going to see here. Let me get them all queued up here so we can just take a look at these in in rapid succession. Okay, this is going to be a. Uh, Gonna be a little bit. We're, it's gonna be a little bit of a change in pace from a bunch of like silly, uh, light-hearted drama into some really fucking weird behavior. Okay, here we go. So let's go. DK editing. This is Drift King edits. This is what I was telling you about. Uh, this is the guy. Okay. I will be taking a break soon. The whole trying to get my life back together thing. Luckily, this is a this is this last roundabout was was with a terrible person, but I haven't always been as fortunate. So so I need to get that in check. Love and appreciate you. So this is just White Nervosa saying, "Hey, I'm taking a break from social media." And DK says, "Attempt reincarnation." Everybody knows what that means, okay? Everybody knows what's being said there. Attempt reincarnation means kill yourself. That's what that's what he's trying to say. He's he's making a uh, you know a, a kill yourself joke. And then it happens again. 
White Nervosa, I know you'll see this. You will never get your life back together. You will exist in this perpetual state of self-loathing and imposter syndrome for the rest of your miserable life. Your entire career is based off of stolen code. That's false, by the way. Like, like been debunked a thousand times level false. This is like incredibly stupid to say, but let's continue. Your social circle is just as fragile. Hmm. All of your friends and allies will eventually turn on you. A new, better chameleon will build a new, better websites for streamers. You will have nothing and you will be nothing. That hopelessness and guilty feeling you have deep down will never go away. It will gnaw at you every waking moment, just like it always had. The mistakes of your past will never leave you. The only solution is God. He is out there somewhere, at the bottom of a four-story drop, in the back room of a gun range, at the end of a prescription of a prescribed bottle. Go find him. This is just kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, over and over again, over three or four times. Yeah. So, of course, uh, now, let's keep everything in scope here. Remember that they were calling White Nervosa uh, triggered and fragile, but this is what they get for a little bit of pushback on uh, them making totally unprofessional and pretty disgusting jokes. So, you know, it, it, it's just very wild to me that their entire gambit has been like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we're, we're, it's the lefties who are fragile. It's pretty obvious who's mad here. You can see it. it, it the anger and the mauled is sort of like emanating uh, off of the post. And here we go again, DK editing, quoting, gay retards like this are why the leftoids get away with this shit. Annoying woke scold. They are trying to get me fired, remove my income, destroy my ability to provide for my family. If it's me losing my income or them reincarnating, there he goes using it again, I choose the latter every time. Uh, then he has like, then he's randomly accusing people of be of crimes, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, of course, that's not even what happened. In fact, White Nervosa initially did not report anyone. Uh, White Nervosa actually said, hey, maybe you should tell your editor not to make jokes about an ongoing rape case. Uh, and, and this has been his response. So I just, I just need to, I, I know it's, it's like, it's, I'm repeating myself here, but we got to keep this all in scope because uh, the, fragi the fragility is so loud, it's deafening. Also, yeah, notice that this is a, uh, that this right here, if it's me losing my income or them reincarnating, I choose the latter every time. This is actually a slight m modification because he's not actually saying you should kill yourself here. He's actually saying he wants to kill you, which is a little bit of a different, you know, it's a little bit of a different thing. And then here we go. So here's Xander Hall based. Uh, uh, Xander Hall says, Chud Logic's Nazi editor writing anime villain monologues about how he wants my friend to commit suicide. I have a feeling he's projecting this suicide thing, so my message to him is that he should stop procrastinating. Now, Xander Hall, ever the edgelord, you know, being all shadow, you know, shadow and sonic sort of thing going on over here. Xander Hall comes out and fires right back with the exact same, let's, we call this tone matching. You know, when somebody's like really freaking out on you and you respond by giving them exactly what they're giving you, that's called tone matching, okay? That's that's what our boy Xander Hall here was doing. And then I want you to see what the response here is. I'll do it if you do it, promise. Though I doubt you could accomplish even a suicide without your meth addict XGF there to mother you through it. Unfortunately, she's probably too busy blowing her dealer behind her back, but behind your back to help anyway. First of all, a uh, terrible, terrible, terrible banter. Just, this is not funny. Like, this is just not funny. Zans was much funnier. Uh, this is just stupid. Uh, it's your ex-girlfriend. Uh, she's probably too busy blowing her dealer behind your back, but they're, they're already broken up, so this doesn't even make any sense. And there's one other thing that makes this, um, there's, there's one other thing that makes this extra funny here, which is that, uh, Chud Logic and DK published a video uh, claiming that Xander Hall lied about the situation with his ex. Um, in, despite Xander Hall and Chud having basically a perfectly fine history, Chud Logic decided to side with, uh, with, with Lonnie uh, for seemingly no conceivable reason outside of the clicks. And uh, we can actually, you can actually go and look at this video uh, real quick. I can just show you what I'm talking about. Um, let me just, let me just show you here. 
Um, Why is yeah, it? Here we go. Oh, sorry about that. Um, oh, also, uh, here we go. Oh, damn. Actually, this is terrible. YouTuber Xander Hall exposed as blank by racist alt writer. Uh, and then he steals, he stole the, the thumbnail. AIDS patient versus alt writer. That's Zan, that's Xander Hall's thumbnail or joke. That's, that's, that's the racist versus pedo. Xander Hall and Xander Hall's team made that joke and they just cribbed it while trying to like drama farm. Oh, that's so fucking pathetic. Anyway, let me just scroll down here and see if I can find the original video. Xander Hall bridge burnt. Uh, he, as you can see, he makes a lot of Xander Hall content. Oh, here's him saying that I lied about shoe on head, which is hilarious given what we all know about shoe on head. What literally every person in this space watched shoe on head fucking lie through her goddamn teeth and they're gonna accuse me of lying. It's literally just embarrassing crap. Uh, but let me just see if I can find that video that I was mentioning before. I think it's down here. Oh, damn, cool. Hey, sick, they used my title, Battle Queer. That's awesome. I am pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, let's go Let's go down through here real quick. Uh, lots of, lots of crap. Where's the Xander Hall video? Oh, here's me again. This is, this was the, this was our, this was me and Chud Logic's, uh, oh, look at the, <laughs> Okay, I'll give him that one. Chud Logic is a N dash. Okay, that is funny. That's actually kind of funny. I'll give him that one. That one's good. <laughs> that made me laugh. <laughs> Especially because it's just literally not even close to anything I said. Oh my God, that's absolutely incredible. We should be getting here on it here in just a minute. I just wanted to let you guys see for yourselves the like type of tier of content that we're dealing with here at this point. Um, let's find the Xander Hall thing now. Oops, here we go. Ah, he's a thief and a liar. Did Xander Hall steal money? Uh, and, and Xander Hall hater debunks my video. Uh, actual, actual pedophile. Uh, here we have, uh, let's see, here's the next, where's the next one here? Yeah, Xander Hall lied. Xander Hall's weak allegations. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can, oh, is my text, what the hell? Why'd that happen? Whoops, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, here we have Xander Hall lied. Here's, uh, here's the Xander Hall uh, allegations, confronting Xander Hall on his allegations against ex-girlfriend. This was really funny too, because in this conversation, Xander Hall proves that he wasn't making it up. Xander Hall like hardline uh, uh, busts Chud, that Chud was full of shit. And then of course, it doesn't matter because two days later, uh, Chud Logic just publishes a video alleging that Xander Hall lied. So. You can see how this is going. You can see where this shit is 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 is, is going here. Uh, all that I was trying to make the point of with this particular uh, little side scroll here is that when DK says, unfortunately, she's probably too busy blowing her dealer, he accidentally contradicts his own narrative. Keep in mind that him and his channel have been trying to push the narrative that Xander Hall is a liar and DK accidentally admits that they know that they're lying. It's really fucking funny. It's really fucking funny to me that that's the way that things have gone with this. So anyway, this brings us up to now and today, White Nervosa has published a video titled, which I'm gonna show you right here, titled Chud Logic and the Art of the Cry Bully. We're gonna watch this and we're gonna to react to this uh, real quick. Let's do it. Let's see what White Nervosa has to say about Chud Logic and the Art of the Cry Bully. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Content warning, slurs, self-harm, and Twitch reports. True! All right. So this is laying out the input, okay? So... Chud Logic's editor made 14 tweets about the situation. Chud Logic made 13 tweets and recorded 138 minutes of content about this. Uh, as far as what people said, White Nervosa made two tweets about this situation. Xander Hall talked about it for a grand total of 12 minutes, and Vosh talked about it for two minutes. Just, 
just so that we are clear on this. I tweeted about Chud Logic's editor making a rape joke. Immediately from his first tweet, he starts crying that I blocked him, ending with that I have the sensibilities of a gay retard leftoid. Someone asks if he thinks it's questionable employing someone who'd say what his editor did. He responds, Apologies about the loud. I didn't know how loud it would be. Somebody's got a loud voice, all right? Don't care. You are a gay retard. I fixed it. I fixed the loudness. You got. I fixed the loudness. Don't don't bitch at me. I fixed the loudness. I fixed it. I click four buttons and report him for gay retard. I was soon told that doesn't violate Twitch's off-platform rules and included that in the same tweet along with the rules that would lead to a ban. I then moved on saying nothing else. Little did I know there was a blizzard over at the quartering vault. His third tweet is crying more, saying I was making a concerted effort to deplatform them. The story is pretty short. Their fourth and fifth tweets are crying more. The sixth tweet is trying to involve Vosh because someone in his chat posted the report email. Another disgusting freak who feels it's appropriate to instigate Matt's mass reports using Vosh's chat. Oh, uh, if anybody is wondering why he does this all the time, it's because Vosh gets him clicks. You guys need to understand that Chud Logic exists entire, his entire career exists in one orbit. There is one orbit that encompasses the entirety of Chud Logic's entire career, and that orbit is obsessed with Vosh. So if you put Vosh's name on anything in that particular space, you're gonna get a lot of clicks that's why he would what that's why he thought it was necessary to bring up vosh's chat here a random ass chatter now to nobody's surprise all reports got the same response that i included in my first tweet the seventh tweet any any says instigating mass reports there were 17 people in G vgg offline chat is this the voice from the bathroom song yes it is it seems like it is it again tries to involve Vosh and some other streamers struggling to find content because they were banned by a moderator. If you're wondering why, Chad's editor has also been busy in the background, but we'll get to that. The 10th tweet, yeah, we just have to skip a few, says that I encouraged others to report him. Ignoring that basic falsehood, the image here is his editor telling me that I should kill myself. The blizzard may make it hard to see, but you can spot him calling others fragile while he's in pieces. There's not much to say here because he needs to stretch two tweets, Zan's 12 minutes, and Vosh's offhand comment into an hour. Honey, you may not want to call others sensitive or fragile when a wind blowing in your direction causes your world to shatter. His reaction to Vosh being asked if he's seen any of Chad's editor's tweets that I should kill myself speaks for itself. Under goes to commit suicide on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, he just he just seems like insane. <laughs> wait, hang on a minute. Wait, wait, wait. There's a bit more than that though. Listen, I know that people don't like that, and that's fine. I w I wonder why people might not like that. Hmm. By the way, you'll notice here. God, Xander Hall is such a pathetic little ra- It's actually super funny to me how how Xander Hall is able to get under so many people's skins. It's really funny too. Like, I don't know. It's it's just so common to see people get insanely triggered by Xander Hall out bantering them. Oh man, what a what a refreshing thing to see. and a gay retard. So, I didn't actually call them that. Sorry, what's the bigotry there exactly? Woo! Whoopsies! Oops! Alright, so, 
obviously, that was a pretty straightforward and solid video in my opinion. Um, I see a lot of people in chat saying, damn, I used to like Chud Logic. What the fuck happened? I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I used to, I mean, I, I, I'm very open about my former friendship and also the fact that I really liked Chud Logic's content. Um, I unironically find his show completely unwatchable these days. Uh, it's funny too, because Chud Logic is like had talent. He's actually a very talented like comedian. He's very funny and very witty, but if you've noticed, more and more, his channel is becoming basically about cleaning up shits that DK edits leaves on the floor. Isn't that pathetic? Isn't it terrible to find yourself in a position where you're basically running around on the internet trying to tidy up after your uh, extremely unhinged uh, uh, editor who's burned your own community on multiple occasions um, is like just leaving shits on the ground? Do you think it's making money? I wonder, I, I really wonder. We should check and see how the the newest video is doing. Um, maybe we should see if it's if it's like if it's like super. Maybe he's getting mega clicks on this. I should I shouldn't speak first. I should check first. Let's find out. Let's find out how that new video is doing. Why is it? So let's take a look. So Xander Hall exposed as blank by racist did 1.7k views in three hours. Hmm. 8.3k views in three days. Oh, here's one with Vosh on the cover and why he's leaving the left and he managed to get a whopping 13k. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's interesting. All of that clickbait, all of that drama farming, and you're not even getting better views than I do. I'm a smaller channel and my views are the same as that and I don't do this type of clickbait at all. So what is the gain really? Are you really making any money? Does he just work for you for free? Is DK like a slave under your desk? Does he like lick your feet and stuff like that? What What is it that that's like makes it worth keeping this guy on? It's sad. Um, yeah, it's fucking sad. It's like, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's especially sad because like I said, I used to respect Chud Logic a lot. I used to think he was very funny and I always thought that he did a pretty good job of like not getting lost in the sauce. And when I say getting lost in the sauce, um, Okay, so there's this term online that's called an A-log. Have you ever heard of it? Have you ever heard of the term A-log? An A-log is somebody, uh, uh, it, it, it refers to a specific user who used to obsessively chronicle uh, the actions of, uh, uh, of, of uh, CWC, uh, 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 Chris Chan, as they are often known as. Um, and A-log, uh, an A-log, became so obsessed with Chris Chan that um, that they actually became a lol cow of their own. That people would actually uh, basically treat treat A log as the as the as the person being farmed instead of Chris Chris Chan. So A log was so obsessed with the drama, so obsessed with uh, with basically memeing on this lol cow that he became a lol cow himself. A arguably as almost as big of a lol cow as. Chris Chan. Obviously, it's kind of hard to reach that level because Chris Chan is like the OG lol cow target. Um, and I can't help but feel like this is kind of what's happening to Chud Logic. Don't you kind of feel that way? Don't you feel that like, I don't know, like look at this, I don't know, like you look at this content and it's just like, it's like, it's, it's, it's like ambulance chasing, but for low, low hanging drama. Like is any of this like doing Ethan Klein throws Andrew Callahan under the bus. Worst friend ever. Holy shit, bro! Wait! I didn't even see this one before! We just went through all of that. For those of you who are watching this video in the future, we just did an entire three-hour segment going through all of the allegations. Making a thumbnail and a video title like this after we went through all of that is just, oh my god. Yeah, I, I really do think that's what's happening here. I think that Chud Logic had some comedic talent and wit, and he's completely become lost in the sauce. Like, just, just totally lost in the sauce. Holy fuck. It could be clickbait? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But, uh, maybe. But listen, let me just say, I'm not exactly inclined at this point, um... 
to uh, to to give charitability to his editor who tells people to kill themselves online all the time, his editor who is obsessed with me and has obsessively tweeted about me on multiple occasions, and also who threatened Chud Logic's own mod team and the entire innocent base of Chud Logic's server with uh, being having their information leaked to a doxing farm. It's pretty interesting, you know. I don't really feel like I need to be particularly charitable to somebody who behaves like that. Yeah, and also, of course, he calls me a liar all the time with no evidence and, and jumps on board with uh, the most heinous dog pals you can imagine. But yeah, so apparently he's like doing this like I'm trying to leave the left kind of nonsense, which I'm sure is just a big stupid fraud because nothing that he says seems to mean anything anymore, which is a it's a pitiable position, honestly. Uh, it's, it's like watching a washout happen in real time. It's like you get to you're, you get to watch someone just, I don't know become less than they were, lose their talents, sell out, uh, sell out to like a degree that like most people can't even imagine. For what? For what? I don't know, man. Yeah, so, uh, I don't, Lucy says, Lucy says, I don't believe that Chud Logic is a left-leaning person. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I don't I don't think he's an anything person. I think he goes where he perceives the drama to go, and I think that he's bad at that. Like um, I don't even think he realizes that he's circling a drain. Like it's one of those things where uh, it's actually kind of tragic to watch because it's like it seems like he really believes he's doing the right thing. When I look at these videos in these dramatic thumbnails that honestly don't look very good. I don't think DK is a very good thumbnailer. Uh, uh, like just on a pure like analysis level. Like these are just very, very messy. You put like t tiny Twitter text on there with your the soy faces. Sure, the soy facing is always funny. Everybody likes a, you know, everybody likes a soy face, but like what the hell? Like you can't read any of this. There's a fuckload of text all over the place. There's just sort of nonsense noise on almost all of these. You can't really learn anything about from any of the stuff. Like, like, you know, they're they're very anti SJW. Yeah, it's really funny. Like, um, I mean, hell, uh, you guys have seen my thumbnails, right? You guys, you guys have seen my thumbnails. My thumbnails are fucking poggers. You guys want to see the fucking thumbnails? Let me show you some. I mean, fuck, I've shown you guys some of my awesome thumbnails, but you guys saw my recent one that's just sick as fuck. The Dungeons and Dragons one was sick as fuck. See, we put some actual work into it. Like, I mean, hell, you want to tell me? Let's just compare these side by side real quick, you know? Let's take a look. You know, not to be a giant bitch, but hey, this guy isn't exactly, uh, you know, not Chud Logic, but is his editor. Like, take a look. Hold on. Let me just put these up for you real quick. Look at that. Damn. My ch my thumbnail. This is the one pretext with the text on it says tire a uh, wizard a uh, tyranny of the wizards. What a sick ass looking thumbnail. And compare it to like this mess. Like here we go. Here's here. We'll shrink it down to size. Okay. We'll shrink it down to size. All right. And this one is with no text on it at first. Just compared to this messy bullshit. Like any of them. I don't know. All I'm saying is, is it really worth it? Is it worth it to clean up someone's sludgy diarrhea that they're leaving all over the internet for what? So you get like shit tier thumbnails from some weird racist. It's funny. I know that there are a lot of uh, I know that there are a lot of people out there who used to watch Chud Logic who basically sit there and just scratch their head. And I wish I could tell you a good answer. I don't know what the answer is. Uh, all I know is that it's fucking sad to behold. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Do you think, what do you guys think? Do you, who do you think came out on top of that? Who do you think is, a, do you think White Nervosa or Chud Logic is beating the, uh, the snowflake allegations? Cause uh, I don't know. It sure seems to me like DK and Chud Logic were way more triggered than, than White Nervosa was at all. Yeah, here we go. Here's a little video. Here's a little treat, okay? Because uh, I happen to know that it makes it makes Wait, DK extremely, extremely mad when you bring this up. But uh, uh, DK DK used to be a a successful a a relatively successful editor, and by relatively successful, I mean he was making mad bank. Uh, DK edits used to be used to go by a different name, and he used to edit for a League of Legends streamer by the name of TF Blade, and. Uh, he basically had a public meltdown and started flaming his own employer. And uh, then his employer fired him for that. 
And after he was fired, he proceeded to have a complete and utter meltdown where he was, uh, we're gonna watch this and you'll get to hear the whole story. But I want you to understand something. Uh, when, when DK edits used to work for the League of Legends streamer TF Blade, he was making 100% of the channel revenue. As in the YouTube channel, he had a sweetheart deal the likes of with no one has ever heard. There is no channel, no professional channel in the world gives their editor 100% of the YouTube revenue. That is an unbelievable, that is like the biggest sweetheart deal you can possibly imagine. And this motherfucker blew it. And he hates it. He gets really, really mad. He says that if you do this, you're doxing him, even though it's publicly available information. So I'm sure you're gonna see a video. Uh, I, in fact, here, let me predict it. I'm just gonna read it right now. Demon Mama, they're gonna have a picture of me going like this. Hold on, I'll even get here. I'll give them the thumbnail, ready? There you go. There's the thumbnail for free. They're gonna they're gonna have me soy facing, and then they're gonna say, uh, SJW transsexual freak. No, that's not right. They won't go that far. Sorry. Let me try again. They will say Demon Mama. They have to put my name in there so they get clicks from the uh, from my enemies online. Demon Mama doxes with big scary letters. Uh, my editor. That's what it's gonna be. There you go. There you have it. That's gonna be the title, watch. In like three days, that's the video that's gonna come out from this. Anyway, let's watch this real quick because it's really fucking funny to hear. Here we go, TF Blade TF versus Editor King. He used to go by King, now he's Drift King. Let's go. Play drama, <laughs> you know, TF Blade fresh off his 30, ban 30 day ban. The title down here, by the way, the people who are here, Disguised Toast, Pokimane, Sean, and Lily Pichu. This is like the biggest, th this is like more people than basically, this is like more fame than this guy will ever have in his entire life. Anyway, let's go. Banned from Twitch, now involved in more drama. That shit was, that shit was so funny. Yeah, I so, can't believe it worked like There's that. no other word that I can use except funny. All right, to give some context. TF Blade, a uh, popular league streamer known for hitting rank one on EU. So people are like, they know who he is. He's super skilled, uh -huh. you know, pretty funny as well. Recently, his drama is his editor, his YouTube channel editor, who apparently was receiving 100% of the channel revenue. Yeah, of the channel's revenue, which is never heard of, by the yeah. way. I've ne I don't know a single YouTuber or a streamer who gives 100% of his earnings mm -hmm. to his editor. Kinda that's like actually, by the way, that's that's like an absurd thing. That's usually, for most people, that is financially unviable. Like if I was to give 100% of, of, of my YouTube revenue to an editor, I would be in the red because that's gross. They're taking home everything. Revenue, not profit, revenue. That means he's getting 100% before, or was, I should say, before he royally fucked it up. DK was getting uh, uh, a, a, a fucking massive uh, uh, chunk of revenue from this. Yeah, it, it'd be crazy. It's, it's like not possible. Let's go, let's continue. I publicly flamed TF Blade once TF Blade fired him and TF Blade said like, oh, you know, he wasn't working out, gave him some chances. And then this editor essentially trying to expose TF Blade like a terrible person. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if we can show. Are we able to show? Yeah. All right. Let's show. Let's everything. show this editor who calls himself King. Oh yeah. There's there's the guy. There's our boy right there. Look at that. It even says it in here. DK editing. This is the same guy. By the way, this account is still up. He just doesn't use it anymore because he's tried to hide his face in shame editing oh yeah and by the way like i said he literally calls anyone who brings this up as doxing in fact talking about this draw this situation that he was publicly involved in with his name and face he threatened to dox he threatened to actually dox uh the entirety of of chud's mod stream because somebody brought this up that's how that's how fucking uh fragile this motherfucker is <laughs> <laughs> I think we know enough about him just by the fact that he would name himself King Editing. Yeah, yeah. he's saying like he's not able to pay rent anymore, you know. TF Blade is putting him, um, making him homeless, essentially. So, TF Blade this <coughs> evening, out of nowhere, with no warning, removed me completely from management of his channel. Uh, in the couple months after my last paycheck, we'll be able to properly pay my rent and a majority of my future plans 
I now can't do. I heard different. I Could heard, you click on the others? I heard TF like gave him like many multiple warnings. warnings. Yeah, we'll read. I heard it everything. wasn't like a channel that I myself built from. It's extremely funny. We're gonna we're about to see this, but he exposes himself as a liar within two tweets. He posts a vi he posts a screenshot of TF Blade warning him. And then he says in the first tweet that he was fired without warning. Oh, it's so it's Zero so fucking incredible. Two hundred thousand in one year. I did every single thumbnail, every single video, every single tag and title, with the exception of times I outsourced videos for a couple months to help with production. But I continue to do the thumbnails. Oh, this is long. And all the management involved has for the past couple of months now been telling me how the channel isn't growing, the way I'm handling it is incorrect, and the things of that nature. I want things to be creative, saying no uh, no copying other channels, but he also criticizes. What does that say? Can I love this. Wait, hold on. Oh, can we get it? Can I get it up on the screen? I just want to read this out. Please be creative with titles, says TF Blade. The last thing I want is you to be copying other people like Road to 1700 LP. We don't need to repeat rank one in every video 24 seven. Look at more channels and the way that his, uh, look at Moe channel and look at the way his editor does them. It can be details in a game or something specific, like how to hit rank one global with any role is just not fitting since it doesn't make any sense. And many more titles I've just looked at. Do like something casual, the unexpected happened. So. TF Blade has not only warned him about his behavior, but this proves that TF Blade was warning him about being uncreative and stealing from other channels. So, hmm, do you think maybe we might be having a re we, we might be witnessing a repeat of that in real time and the DK is a talentless, unstable hack who threatens people randomly and tells people to kill themselves on the internet? Hmm, very curious. Let's continue. Can anybody read that? No. Uh, basically, it's TF Blade giving him feedback. Yeah. So how is he saying no warning, but then also linking him saying he's not happy with it? He had, he definitely admits <laughs> to like literally exactly. He blows up, himself out in the second like, tweet. Blade tells him like, "Yo, you're messing up." The growth, um, as if the two don't go hand in hand. I'm not allowed to use clickbait titles or things that draw views, but also is mad the channel isn't growing faster and getting more views. I do this for a living, and he checks the channel and randomly and randomly thinks thinks. He should have. Basically, he's many saying YouTube like. YouTube subs. He yes, knows, I he agree knows the, the YouTube world. Yeah. I agree the channel from zero to two hundred k. It's my yeah, content. Yeah, he made the channel from zero to 200 k. Is what he claims. Mm -hmm. Which is insane, by the way. Uh, like, look. I I fucking first of all I love my editor. My editor is a fucking absolute pog. I love my editor. I love my editors. I have two editors because Jazz Dog and Danny both edit for me, and they're fucking amazing. Uh, but also, um, this is no shit on editors. Editors have to edit something, okay? Something has to be created, which usually requires me to sit in this spot shouting and talking and prepping for hours. Like the idea that the edit, that, that, that he thinks that D DK thinks that he made the channel and brought the channel from zero to 200K is absurd. Editors do a lot of work. Their work is vital and important, but the idea that like he made the channel that way when he has to have content to edit, that this guy's recording and not only that, but keep in mind that this is a a rank one League of Legends streamer. Like the, he's like a real pro. TF Blade was a real pro. Uh, like this guy's like recording himself actually making like the world of League of Legends move. And this guy's like, I made your channel. You'd be nothing without me. Well, as it turns out, TF Blade was perfectly fine without DK edits. Danny says, my contract is 33% plus fat, flat fee. I've been told by other people in the industry that I'm robbing talent of money and I'm taking way too much. And I probably agree with that, but money is important. Listen, I value you a lot. You've worked with me for a long time and that's how it's gonna go. So whatever. Uh, yeah, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's continue. Oh yeah, but if you ever, uh, but if you ever did say that you owned the channel, I might, I might get, I might get kind of mad at you. You know, I gotta say. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, guys. We got a rager in chat. Oh, this is great. I love this. Here we go, real quick. <laughs> Hold on. Can I bring this out? Oh my god, this is great. We got a rager over in YouTube chat. This is oh, I love it. I hope I hope people will keep raging. This is so funny. Here we go. 
Chud Logic owns you. You're mad that Chud ditched you for DGG. Well, thank you for admitting what I what we all know to be true is that D Chud ditched everyone for DGG. He even ditched his own self-respect. Let's continue. I <laughs> unpopular opinion, but I see where his frustrations are coming from. They just had a bad deal if that makes sense because it is fair to say like this guy put in all the work but he was getting paid all the money so i think mm. in that sense it was fair and also the content is tf blade so ultimately he needs to understand the content is also i mean the channel is also ultimately tfs there's a mo clip apparently do we have it oh yeah mo oh no no it's okay really well all right did they say something bad Ooh. oh what did they say but let's uh oh okay so, like sorry 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 let me just show you real quick i need to show you what they said uh this person just got banned for my chat real quick uh, i just want to show you why they got banned for the chat just because it's poetic justice uh it's it's very it's very fitting here okay let me just show you what they just got banned for spamming they spammed this multiple times in chat okay ready all right, you guys, are you ready? Who could have seen this coming? Hitler W. They spammed Hitler W multiple times. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. What a community. What a beautiful community. Wait, hold on a second. Real quick. How many people in this chat used to be fans of Chud Logic's content and used to be viewers of his channel uh, and actually liked it? Probably a lot of you, right? Did you guys feel like his community Oh, there we go. There's a lot of people coming in. Yeah, we, we have a lot of people. There we go. Do you guys feel like his community used to be full of people who would spam things like Hitler W? Hitler Dub? A lot of people in my chat used to be a part of Chud Logic's. Damn. So, so according to Chud Logic's fans, Chud Logic abandoned me for DGG, but it looks like his audience has abandoned him for greener pastures. Let's just put it that way. Let's continue. I only, have, I only have TF Blade's side, but... Okay, you, you know what this story is about, right? It's about the editor. How he is not... King is no longer an editor for our channel. That's what the story is about anyways. And yes, I did kick him because his attitude and motivation just not the right fit for me, to be honest. <laughs> Let's start all the way from the beginning, okay? So I was an MLGB. Yes? And then, instead of going professional play, you become a streamer. So what happens is, King is already editing for Metaphor. And then Metaphor is like, who's your editor? He's like, oh, it's King? Wow. Like, with a disappointment. Because King left Metaphor and came to me for editing. And we went from there, yes? So, the first two, three months, I wasn't a big streamer either. I had only had a few views. Like, 1,000 max, 2,000 maybe. And the first two, three months... Wait, turn off music. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Fine. Listen, okay. You so the first two, three music. months, while not having such a big channel, I was paying this guy out of my own pocket, like 50, 60, and then he just kept going up to like 80, let's say, yes. We went to 80 without really having ad revenue on YouTube, because, you know, two, three months, it takes kind of a while to get ad revenue. So that happened. Once we get ad revenue... <laughs> Every no, channel, from his, it's maximum from they his give is 50% oh, okay. so almost. Or it's not I was giving King 100% of the revenue until now, where he's kicked. For the full year, he had 100% of revenue. I didn't touch anything. Anything I get, it was going to him. This was only to motivate him. Just so that we're clear, this guy got ripped off hardcore. Oh, is he mad right now? Oh, tell me he's mad right now. He's mad! Demon Wama wants to compare thumbnails and views. She has a 20k sub channel that has a frequent 1 to 2k view videos. How is that even possible? Her videos only do well when she talks about Vosh or Shoe on Head. <laughs> it's actually funny. It's because I actually do content that I care about. I don't ambulance chase. And your view counts aren't better than mine. You fucking chase every little last thing you can with your embarrassing uh, fucking copycat bullshit. It's funny. Uh, it's so fucking funny. This guy's old boss fired him for being uncreative 
uh, and also for being a freak on the internet, which is interesting because I feel like that might be the way that Chud Logic is eventually forced to go. I can't. I feel like it's only a matter of time before uh, DK literally becomes a complete liability to the channel. But it's really funny. Uh, I have no no shame whatsoever in my content. I'm very, very confident in the fact that my community watches all kinds of cool shit that I do. I do hard-hitting politics. I talk about art. I do random debates. Whoo! Do we got another one? Is he is he actually live tweeting about me right now? Oh! Oh! Uh, lifetime views, bro. You've only been editing. Oh yeah, this is so funny. He's super mad. Happy to compare views, Demon Mama. These are Chud's lifetime stats. Guess when I started working with him? Didn't you start working with him like a, a, a year ago? And also, Chud Logic didn't have a YouTube channel before. <laughs> so fucking funny. Wait, what's his bio say? Hold on. Oh yeah, he says, German extremist, proud turf, conservative Catholic values, right wing. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is so fucking funny. Also watch, it's really funny. Uh, if you go and look back at the tweets he made last time, he made a tweet about me last time he got mad at me. The last time he was melting down about me, he got two likes. His tweet was, had my name in it. It was literally about me. He was screaming about how I'm a piece of shit. Two fucking likes. This motherfucker is the loser of losers. It's actually incredible. DK's narrative is that he made Chud. Yeah, it's really funny. I don't know why Chud would tolerate this. I don't, maybe Chud believes it too. Chud, look, look, I, I don't know if you're going to react to this. I know you probably will. But uh, do you believe that DK made you? Because DK is saying that on Twitter right now. He believes he made you. And just like he did with his former employer. I wonder, does he ask you for 100% of the, of the channel revenue too? Because like in real time, he's like cucking your family with these fucking stolen ass bullshit looking thumbnails. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Let's continue though. Come on, let's continue. Let's see. I want I want I want us to see where DK's been in the past because we're 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 witnessing where he's going now, but I want to see where he's been in the past. To give daily videos or mm -hmm. upload the channel. Now, you guys are witnesses, right? For the past year, what was the maximum daily videos he did? Well, he claims it to be 2 weeks. Correct. Two weeks max for a freaking year of just telling him now. So this guy is saying what he's just said here. TF Blade has said he's paying, he was paying DK 100% of the channel revenue and he was missing that there were only two weeks of an entire year where DK was making 100% of the revenue that they actually got a daily upload. So, Ch so DK was unable to meet the, even the low standards while making 100% of the money from the channel. Holy shit, bro. Holy fucking shit. Let's continue. With that little context that you said, let's go through what happens. So after waiting a year, yes, what I tell him oh, is... Oh, shit, we're getting the DMs. We're getting the DMs. So I think he started off paying him and then just gave him Switched full over. Yeah. yeah, For a year, right? Let's yeah. check out the Mo clip. Uh, you might have to click the Twitch link. Streamable? Yeah. By the way, the fact that all of these streamers are struggling with links just the same way I do, even though these are like some of the most successful streamers in the world, it makes me feel so seen. Just so you guys know, uh, dealing with like crappy links and and streaming software, it plagues all of us. Even those of us, even even people like Pokimane and Lily Pichu who have literal millions of subscribers. It's fucking, it feels, I feel so seen right now. And then he said, TF Blade's been spoken to me about it a lot in the past. And I kept trying to prove every time he spoke to me, but I kept slipping. That's the fucking reason he removed you, you degenerate! You kept slipping! I admit this completely, that's- <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Sorry, I think that blew out. I think we actually have to play that again. Definitely because nobody could hear it because it blew out. Not because I want to see that again. Uh, Twitch link? Yeah. And then he said, TF Blade's been spoken to me about it a lot in the past. And I kept trying to prove every time he spoke to me, but I kept slipping. That's the fucking reason he removed you, you degenerate. You kept slipping. I admit this completely. That's why he fucking removed you. 
I told you, I, t I told you all that this gaze into the past of this pants shitting idiot named DK Edits would be totally worth the time of the wind up of this drama, okay? I'm fucking telling you, I, I, it's it gets better. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Are you brain damaged? <laughs> like, what? Oh, what kind of <laughs> And then he's brain damaged. <laughs> Uh, for context, Mo is the reason why Mo is passionate is because he's good friends with TF Blade yeah, as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So we all, uh, except Sean, have editors, right? Mm -hmm. I would, if you're comfortable, what's that kind of deal you have? So I play my pay my editor flat. Like mm -hmm. for every video, it's like X amount. Mm -hmm. I thought about doing revenue sharing, but then it's like I, when you look at the income and like do the monthly stuff and it's like it's just it's too much i'd rather just do like flat fee hit the more video uh paying uh i will say paying flat fee is way more easier on your accounting uh my accounting books are a fucking nightmare okay i have oh god it stresses me out so much listen payroll is the worst thing okay I'm telling you, it's the most stressful shit you'll ever deal with. This is this is what happens when you when you when you step out and you become a job creator like me. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm an entrepreneur job creator. It means you have to do a bunch of fucking paperwork. It sucks. Anyway, let's continue. You put out the more you get paid, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you guys kind of have? Uh, my situation is complex because I have like a channel manager and editors mm -hmm. so the editors i typically do a flat fee and then the channel manager i do a mixture of flat fee and rev makes sense because yeah. like the reason you do revenue share is to, to motivate, motivate someone, them yeah. it's like hey the better the channel do the more money you get mm -hmm. how about you lily 50 percent. 50 percent, which mm -hmm. is really, good. Really, really really good really generous and also does your editor do a good job you feel yeah i love you gary i love mm -hmm. you Bodity. yeah a hundred percent it's That's a lot crazy. of motivation. Yeah. But also, it's also a little scary. Clearly, it gave him some entitlement. Yeah, because if you have 100%, uh, I guess I don't know how long they had that deal for, or like the contract. A year. A year? 100%. Is is that ear flipping or am I high? No, you are, you are, you might be high, but the ear is flipping. Uh, these hats are really cool. They actually, in the paw of those hats, they have a little, uh, little air puffer and there's a little tube that runs up the hat to the ear and you squeeze the puffer in the paw of the hat and it makes the ear flop. It's super cute. Um, uh, Fawn has a hat like that. It's really super cute. Or rather, I should say, Fawn has a stuffed animal that uses the exact same thing. It's not a hat, it's a it's a little stuffed animal and you squeeze its foot and its ears flop. It's very cute. Let's continue. So much. Yeah. Like it's really I unheard of in this industry. Like really a lot. So I thought like you got a hundred percent of mm -hmm. Like you're That's given a lot. this material to work with, T F Blade, who's like really up and coming, mm -hmm. especially after his rank one climb to like people would love to watch his content mm -hmm. and apparently the channel just never did that well and like he wasn't getting his daily uploads. i thought it started going well but he just wasn't uploading enough I'm gonna he complained a lot that it was a lot of work because like lot dk fumbled that bag hard the the motherfucker didn't just fumble the bag. The dude shoved the bag up his ass and shit it back out on the floor. Like, just a complete loss. Having the most sweetheart deal you could possibly imagine and completely embarrassing yourself, exposing yourself as a liar in real time, post thinking that it's a win to post the the screenshots of your of your of the person who is paying you 100% of channel revenue, begging you to be more creative so that you don't get in trouble for stealing fucking content from other channels holy fucking shit just pure level like the highest level of incompetence you can imagine copyright music was played and like he would do off no cam no mic streams which you probably can't use mm -hmm. it would be entertaining maybe mm, i he guess that's good views like yeah. 200k ish i guess for me it's like if i fire an editor I don't expect them to go out on social media and try and like uh, threaten to put it all up on their channel and strike. Oh yeah. Wait, I... Oh oh yeah. This is a good point too. Um, 
uh, trying to cancel your former employer after they were paying you 100% of the channel revenue because you're a little shitbag. Uh, let's just say this guy went from working with a professional league streamer with with like three three hundred thousand plus subs don't you think that with a resume like that you should be able to get another job of like a similar type no no it's it's kind of weird almost like he completely destroyed his career prospects and now he's just a little fucking wriggling angry uh nazi light on the internet 1.2 oh sorry let me be clear the channel had 1.2 million followers on twitch that's where he was working at that time Oh, is he still going? So mad. This dude is so fucking mad. He's just live tweeting. Oh my God. Oh no, they're sucking his dick. His, he has like one dude, one person here. By the way, he has one of the people who I happen to know for a fact was a, uh, a super follower of Destiny at one point. Destiny super follower is like, I love your thumbnails. And he quote retweeted it. Oh, oh, it's so good. Can I just show you how embarrassing this is? Oh my God, that's so fucking funny. Dude, this guy is like trying to massage his ego so hard right now. He's jerking himself raw right now. My biggest fan, like I see a Chud Logic thumbnail and I always know it's gonna be a banger video. Wow, high praise. I see your thumbnail and I know that Chud Logic will make me laugh. Incredible. It's not Absolutely the incredible. Part. The girl that was like, okay. he cheated on me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, they're like having all this beef. And this girl's like, yeah, and he cheated on me. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And apparently, when she initially came out about him cheating on her, um, he like told her to delete it and threatened to like leak her information if she didn't. This guy's fucked up. Yeah. Wait, why you just the other girl's also. An oh, ho, ho, ho! I didn't even know about that part. Wait, can we hear that again? I'm sorry. Mike. Oh, threatened to put it all up on their channel and strike. Oh, the yeah. Wait, can channel. I talk about the best part? Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Uh, DK, uh, what, I forgot. We, we, we missed that part while we were laughing at the other part. DK threatened to re-upload all of the stuff that he edited for TF Blade and then falsely copyright strike TF Blade's channel. So he was literally openly and publicly admitting that he was going to commit co a, a major copyright cr crime by stealing all of the content and then trying to reverse by using the copyright system to troll and damage TF Blade's career. TF Blade paid this guy 100% of the channel revenue. We're talking big bucks, okay? And that's what that was his approach, okay? Now here's another one. Listen to this part, okay? Let's listen to just how unhinged and stupid this guy is. The girl Fine. that was like, okay. he cheated on me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, they're like having all this beef. And this girl's like, yeah, and he cheated on me. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And apparently when she initially came out about him cheating on her, um, he like told her to delete it and threatened to like leak her information if she didn't he threatened to leak his ex-girlfriend's information on the internet because he cheated on her he cheated on her and then she went and she said that he cheated on her and then he threatened to fucking dox her shit what a fucking loser this guy is like the most shrivel dick fucking loser cuck that i've ever heard of in my entire goddamn life this guy's fucked up. Yeah. Wait, why you just the other girl's also an editor and she's really good. Oh. So yeah. like, what this King guy ended up doing was like saying to TF Play, oh, by the way, I can just take your content, edit it, and Oh, that part, I was like, shh, 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 like as a fuck you to TF Blade. You know the best That's part is, <clears throat> like the edits that he does are so minimal. You can't even argue that they're transformative. Like you literally couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh and the no. Like, oh by the way, he, oh by the way. no. It's like oh man. Like when you get fired, just say you know what? Thanks for the opportunity. Tell What's people, an... tell the next streamers that, hey, I edited for TF Blade. Uh, guys, breaking news. There might be more that we need to ask about Drift Kings. Hold on a second, DK. 
I'd rather now this is the this is the tweet, okay? The tweet says, I'd rather be I'd rather be a pedophile than a Dragon Ball fan, okay? That's what that's what the tweet says. And DK responds, why not both? Wow, oh, no! Oh god, no! Bro! My man! Fucking oof! Yeah, there's a blocked tweet between those, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, that's pretty fucking sus. That's pretty fucking sus. Oh, incredible. Let's go. Ultimately, you know, it's TF Blade's channel. Yeah, if he doesn't want you, it's like... I guess that's just not how he sees oh, it. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, we have confirmation. Uh, we have confirmation. The blocked tweet says, how do you feel about this, DK? Addressing DK. And then DK responds, why not both? Just so we're clear. The blocked tweet does not exonerate him. In fact, it only makes things worse because he is being asked directly. Hmm. He'd rather just like burn I, all I, the bridges ever. Because he sees it that he made the channel. Yeah. But he was But he got paid for it yeah, too. He got paid to, paid do, yeah. to do it. Like he, he got paid to do a job. He was work mm -hmm. almost, you know? And if you're not happy with it anymore, it's thank you next. You know, most people are just like, okay, thank you for the opportunity. People are saying, oh yeah, what the hell blocked? Oh yeah, tons of people blocked me. It, it, there's an entire sphere of the internet that hates my guts because they were told to by their fucking parasocial daddy. It's awesome. It's, it's fucking wild. Oh, cool. Do we have, oh shit. Oh no, no, don't tell me. No, not a white boy using the N word. Oh no, not in real time. Oh my God, this was just like, Fucking two days ago. No, bro. No. Opportunity. They'll probably put like, oh, I edited for TF Blade on their resume and like look for a new. He's um, losing it. That was like it's, it's two days ago. Proportion. No, like it was a week new, ago. Sorry, a week uh, ago. Like streamers are gonna look at this and they're gonna be like, oh, I don't know if I want you to be my editor. Yes. I wouldn't want. <laughs> like whenever a streamer looks for an editor, like they'll ask. Other streamers say, hey, have you worked with this person before? Wait, yeah. that was from today? I'm sorry, did I look at the date wrong? Was that from today? Is he posting through it that hard? This can't be from today. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It was from today. He's oh, he's posting through it. You got Vegeta and dropping the N-bomb as a fucking angry white boy on the internet. One like, by the way. Fucking one whopping like. Dude, this guy's such a fucking loser. Remember. Just so you know, again, just so you know, remember where this started. Do you guys remember where we started this segment? I do. Remember it was him saying that White Nervosa was, a, was, was being fragile or whatever for saying that he was being a piece of shit and he absolutely has lost his mind and now he's posting through it, posting Vegeta gifts because he's a strong, he's such an edgy boy. And, po and then like what, like a couple of fucking weeks ago, posting about, uh, uh, about wh how he, he, he's, a, he's a pedophile and a Dragon Ball Z fan. No. It was two minutes ago! Ah! I can't! I I keep being too charitable to him! I literally keep being too charitable to him. Oh, somebody says we found we found his thumbnails. No, these are better than his. These thumbnails are better than his. I'm sorry. These thumbnails are way better than his. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I gotta, I gotta, oh, I gotta keep that one for my personal collection. Incredible. Absolutely motherfucking incredible. Oh man. Oh man. It's so funny. All these people try to talk so much shit. They do, they, they, they try so hard to lie about me. They fucking lie about me in their videos and it doesn't even mean a thing. This guy has nothing. Everybody just sees him and goes, ugh, because he's running around with shit smeared all, all down his legs because he thinks it's like, he, he, he seems to be genuinely convinced that inside his own mind that he's like a cool badass as he's just dumping his own fucking uh, bowel contents into his pants in public. Just incredible. Actually, it's really funny. So I as because I know that they're gonna review this, uh, I know they're gonna I know they're gonna review this shit. 
Um, so I just want to say, uh, all of you who are watching this, I, I know that you're watching now. I'm sure you're going to watch. I'm like almost 100% sure. Maybe you'll dodge this one because it's too brutal. This is your guy. This is your guy. The guy who uh, fucking dropped the bag so hard uh, that he blew a, a, a sweetheart gig where he was making the entirety of the profits off of somebody else's work. He dropped that bag. He freaked out and threatened to try and burn down the channel that was paying him that well because he's a little fucking bitch. And now he's doing the exact same thing he was, which is fucking cribbing from other people's style and actually making it worse. The only pieces of originality that this fucking cuck loses adds to anything that he does is to make things worse. Oh yeah, guys, I'm gonna make catchy thumbnails. Let me put a bunch of tiny mucho texto in there. Isn't that supposed to be a lefty meme? Isn't mucho texto the fucking lefty meme? Not the fucking right wing where you're posting like somebody's twit longer as a part of your thumbnail with a two sentence fucking block of text up on the top and 600 arrows going like this and like use the same soy face for every fucking video. Man, this is your guy. This is your fucking guy that you're that you're like going going to bat for hardcore, whatever, bro. Now he's trying to control the world through Chud's Discord. An interesting proposal, an interesting strategy. Let's see how it plays out. Oh wow, incredible! Absolutely motherfucking uh, incredible. Oh yeah, let me give you an example of this. By the way, this is the one that that person was praising him for. AIDS patient versus alt writer. This is literally just a worse version. Let me show you, I can actually show you, hold on. I'm gonna show you the original and I can let you compare them side by side. Where's the, where's the thumbnail? I gotta find it. It's the EDP thing. Yeah, here we go. Okay, ready? Here you go. Real time. All right. Here's the here's the original one. All right. Racist versus pedo. And then there's the follow up kidney failure versus pedo. Okay. These are Xander Hall's original thumbnail. This is what he did with it. Nice, clean, easy to see everyone who's involved. You got Zan's little avatar here. You got the people involved. Easy to read. This is what he turned it into. Remember how I said he just cribs other people's ideas and the only drop of originality that he has is to make them uglier and more stupid? It's like, it's, yeah, it's like running it through a fucking sewer, sewer pipe. Pathetic. Oof. Oof, my man. Anyway, uh, uh, Chud fans, there are, there are greener pastures elsewhere. You don't gotta deal with this chuckle fuck. Chud, I, I think you're, I think, I, I liked being friends with you, Chud. Unironically, and I feel like you were a much funnier guy before. Maybe I'm just biased. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just so blinded by my politics that uh, that I just don't get the brilliance of your humor anymore. But uh, man, whatever. Best of luck to you. All right, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say for this one, okay?